Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dentist, a general dental practitioner perhaps, a dental therapist, or anyone for that matter, about the childhood fevers, the exanthematous fevers, the so-called acute specific fevers. Things like mumps and measles and German measles and diphtheria and chicken pox and whooping cough. And I put them all in here because in each case some sort of oral manifestation or facial presentation will be seen by us or will be picked up by us. And therefore you should know something about them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their incubation period. The prodromal symptoms, those are the symptoms that come on before the actual illness. Whether or not there is a rash, and what you would see in the mouth column, which is the most important thing for us. And whether or not they are protected by vaccine, vaccination program. So let's go very slowly through them. Measles is a very serious and a highly contagious viral illness and is spread by droplet infection, by sneezing and by coughing, by sneezing and coughing in school and on the playground and on the bus going to school, etc. And because it's a viral illness, it has a long incubation period. So a couple of weeks of incubation period and you'll be right. This is a condition in which young children present and become very fretful and ill and miserable with fever and with generalized lymphadenopathy, enlargement of the draining lymph nodes and with discharging eyes and ears and what is called the macular papilla rash. The important thing for us is though, when you look in the mouth, you may see things called coplic spots. These are just small salivary retention glands which become inflamed and show up as little grains of salt on the inside of the cheek opposite the molars. And the important thing about these coplic spots are that they come on before the rash. They come on before the maculopapular rash. So if you're a clever dentist like your good self and you see a child who is fretful and ill and miserable, perhaps coming down with fever and a bit of a cold and you look inside their mouth and you see these little grains of salt with perhaps a red halo around them. You see these coplic spots on the inside of the cheek, opposite the molars. You look at the mom and say, Mother, I think your child is coming down with measles. And you probably will be right. But it's best not to say anything and refer them to the GP because as you recall, this is a notifiable disease and the GP will have to inform the health authority because of it. And you remember, of course, apart from a miserable, fretful and an ill child covered in a rash, measles is characterized by inflammation of the ears, otitis media and that of encephalitis, inflammation of the brain and a funny thing called subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. But again, those things are not going to happen in your dental chair. And I've only mentioned them to you for completeness. Measles is protected by vaccine, vaccination program introduced by the National Health Service, the good old NHS, in the United Kingdom in 1988. The mumps, measles, rubella vaccine, and since its introduction, it has greatly cut down the number of children needing hospital treatment and developing measles. And I strongly advise all parents in the United Kingdom to follow the guidelines set by the National Health Service. The first jab is given at 13 months and a booster just before kids start school. 